Hey guys, still here and welcome back to more Wargame Red Dragon Ranked. Normally, Thursday, I cover a bit of Ultimate Admiral, but um, in the line of thinking of do stuff that excites you, not stuff that you feel like you have to do, <coughs> dreadnoughts, um, here's more Ranked. Now, it's going to be warts and everything, which means that there could be a really quick loss, it could be a really quick win. In Ranked, you never quite know. I have played a few games in the last couple of days. Um, if I last five minutes against some of these guys, uh, it's already quite the achievement. But then again, I feel like in Ranked, I just need experience. I need to see what works. I need to understand more of the maps, as uh, both uh, Victor and Lord Pi have confirmed. And once you have a bit more of an understanding of the map, you tend to slowly start to do better. So fail your way to winning, if you will. You gotta fall a whole bunch of times in ranked, flat on your face. And I think it was Lord Pi who said, are you gonna be chilling on the pavement or are you gonna get back up? So, back to Red 4, more ranked uh, deck, the, the, the Victor deck, links down below. And let's see who shows up. Interestingly, that took a whole of five seconds before we got a game. Two people searching for ranked. Um, now I can get anything up from a private all the way to a colonel. Sergeant, weaponized autist. Okay. Right. Um, immediately get recognized. Might not be a great thing. Anyway, my motorized, no, not motorized, my general deck. I'm gonna try and get to here, if I can. I also wanna get to Fedor. I feel like if I can control this, I have a pretty good vantage. This is gonna be light. And this is going to be light as well. I'm not sure if that's the right strategy, but I'm just going to try it. So, opening KTs. Um, also, a spike. I want an Elouette to fly over the middle. I also want an XA-180 over there to ensure I get a bit of vision. <sighs> Using tanks here... I'm not sold on the idea yet with this crest here. So I'm probably just going to go with quite a bunch of infantry. Vehicle support, not likely. Um, so just to make sure I get a bit more firepower. Another bunch of KTs with a KT recon. Over to the left. This guy's already ready. That might not be good. That might be a helo rush. We shall see. Over towards the middle, I want to have a skeleton crew, so just probably, well, if I can capture these buildings, that'd be great. So let's go with a combination of Eric's and Spike, and here too. Uh, Spike and Eric's. It gives me 330 points. How about a fighter early on? just to see what he has and make sure that he doesn't bomb me out of this position. And then another Elouette for more reconnaissance. And I'm gonna give each of these guys another KT as well, because those auto cannons are just so damn good. Cheers, you two, mate. Let's have a good game. Here we go. You boys move up, you move up, you move up, you move up. And I'm gonna go there. One Elouette over here, another Elouette over there, Fighter over there. I want to see if he has anything going for Fedor, because if he does a quick grab, I might need to buy a bomber to counter it. And at least the 29 is going to at least spot it early, as well as a potential helo rush. Tiger! Interesting. If I could take down the Tiger early, that would be a big boon. At least I know he's playing Eurocore now. And that my Alouettes might be at risk. Uh, let's get... Let's get a Spado over there in AMI-17. Is that the Tiger? That is not the Tiger, that's a freaking Krotal. Get out of there. Go, 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 go. And Tier hold here. The rest of you boys keep moving up. KT over there, quick. We got Martyrs coming in, Krotal. There's the Tiger. I need the Tiger dead. Yeah. Go in there. Try to get the Elouette killed. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Get out. Too late. Aito. Moment of glory. 
It's a bit short ranged. Oh no! Hit. Time to drop off. Spike. I want the KRKK back, I want the KT back, I want the Yekari in there, I want the Eryx in position here, I want the KT over there. Get a couple more... no, standards. Uh, over here we have taken control of the buildings. Let's move up here. Ooh. That was freaking short range. Uh, get back in there. Ah. Okay, this might be slightly too aggressive. On my part. Unload. Unload. And unload. Need to be zooming out more to see what's happening. Yeah, the KT looks like it's going to be in trouble. Oh, crop. No, no, no. That was the Crotal over there. Um, at this point, I'm going to lose this position here. I do not want that. Let's go with a couple of BTRs and make sure I at least hold it. I want you to maneuver. I want you to start slowly pushing and he just captured Anna. So that's his plus two. That's all right. I'm not too unhappy about that. I think he went heavy here, light there. So I have options. There we go. That's where you are. Get your GM in there. That is a Crotal. I want the Crotal killed. Spikes, that's your department. Whoa! And I want to try and capture this position. There's the Crotal. Chase that down. I haven't checked the veterancy yet. Yekari might be able to take that one down. Hold. I'm floating way too many points here. Let's get two Wilks. Actually, no, that's a bit overkill. A bit over Wilk. Uh, AGGM. And a Recon. And over here I have absolutely nothing. I need to make sure I get at least a little bit of vision. Why you do this? Why I do what? I'm not exactly sure what he's referring to. Just trying stuff. Drop. For some reason, he hasn't found the Eryx yet. Got the Yekari over there. We need to find that ERC-19 and eliminate it. Hold your fire. I'm still floating way too many points. I need to buy more and be more aggressive. Let's get a CV in here. Uh, under the supervision of a bit of infantry. Got these BTRs here. What rush? I've never seen somebody succeed in an early game rush. I tried to overpass Foxtrot. And Bravo. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe a bit too much. He might be right. Let's see if I can get rid of these guys. Drop off here. I believe we had the chariots. Did I cancel those? Not sure. I still need some protection for my command vehicle. A couple of ZSUs. There's an AMX-10. I feel the position here is not terrible. And I have a decent foothold in Boris. Let's see if I can get a CV over there. Oh, HGMs. That's a waste of a good KT. Origin, here. The KT might be able to intercept these AMX-10s before they drop off. The Yekari are in contact. I want this building. I want to hold, get this whole block of buildings, actually. Jesus, look at this thing murder everything. Wow! Is that Crotal still around? Because I might be able to kill that. And considering that I have control of this, I might be able to push my ATGM all the way to over there, even though I'm fairly blind. But I can drop off the Super Puma there. Dimitri's secure. Good, I'm no longer bleeding. The Hawk dropped, but missed, mostly. I need you to go here and then there. There's the bombing run. A little too zoomed in. What we got there? You see 90? 
Hey, Max. Let's not. He still had, at some point, one of his uh, Crotales over there. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. Oh, there's another ERC now. Maybe go with a command tank instead. Oh, I killed it. Sorry, not a command tank, a recon tank. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I got a new desk. And one of the monitors just decided that it had enough. And that's the monitor that I'm running Bandicam on, so I cannot see how <laughs> my recording is doing. That's a little annoying. CV on route, very good. Now we have a little bit more information here. But he's starting to push back here. I don't really strictly need that forward position. Although it is possible for him now to put a CV in there. Which would be annoying. The Eric's are in contact with the Panzer Grenadiers. Let's see if the Hawk can back him up. Get a plane out just to be sure. And... Um, I still want to get more information here. Let's get a four stack and make sure I spread those out. Boris, secure. Panzer Grenadier just left the building, killing off the Eriks. I might have gotten them, but I'm not sure. And there are commando marines operating around here. That's what I was initially trying to kill. Do a bit of a flyby, will ya? There's the Vabs. Very slowly ticking a plus one, but I'm leading here with a <laughs> with an HGM. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Um, I'll take another spike here, please. There they are. There they are. Now a little bit more forward, saying that they're probably going to move up. <clears throat> Try to kill them. Unfortunately, it's going to be ridiculously easy for him to get Fedor. Because he can just push a CV in there, and he can push a CV into Boris. So ideally, I would deny him that opportunity by going with more KTs here. And making sure that I slowly but steadily push my way all the way to there before trouble shows up. Because it will show up. It's just mostly a question of when. Damn it, I need to get that monitor back online. I don't want to be dealing with this hardware nonsense when I'm playing ranked. There we go. Screen back on. That Mencati is ridiculously aggressive. It's a bit of a waste, but if I can ensure he does not get resupplies, it might be worth it. Bye-bye, I'll be going now. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh crap, you guys are out of missiles. Oh, that's particularly bad news. Auto cannon from there. Come on. You're a stealth tank. You got the advantage. Just because I will it so. Hit. Let's unload. Split these guys up. Start slowly encroaching on this tree line. And ideally, I would also get some form of an HEGM here. Nice he's bombing the position. I wonder what he's playing at here with the commando. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's going to end badly. If he starts to push onto this town, I might also have a problem. Maybe it is time to get a Wilk here. Just to do a bit of pushing. Let's get the Elouette over here. I want you to sit down there. Fire support slightly back. Let's see if we can find those Commander Marines. I mean, ideally I don't. But I just want to get a bit more info on what those guys have been up to. So let's also send another Elouette out. Alright. Slightly out of range. This thing does need a resupply. Um, I 
feel like we're slightly standstillish. Which is not necessarily bad for me, as I'm ticking points. Slowly. Ah, there's the Commander Marines. Oh, did I get one squad? That'd be great. This is going to be potentially... Oh, there's the second one. That's not quite where I was expecting to drop, but... Uh, not necessarily terrible. I wonder how much fire support they have. At least I don't have enough, that's clear. Let's send a couple of Wilks over here to ensure I get a bit more. And I want an Ito in case there's more trouble. I can send these guys over here, this quad stack of KTs, to start helping out. I'm going to try and sneak through the woods here. These guys can get dropped off. Yikiri 90 destroyed. Surprise, surprise. Against Commando Marines, my odds were never good. And now they're over there. I think he's trying to push me out of Fedor completely. I hope I'm reading that right. No NTR response. Oh, there they are. No, that's a VAB. Wait. Get that VAB. I need this thing alive so the 185s have something to target. Stop this push. Yep, there it is. What are you shooting at? My Alouette? Yes. There we go. Now he has Fedor. So he captured both Fedor and Boris. And that was him ticking points, albeit slowly. The Wilks are in position, but I just need a fuck ton more infantry. Pardon my French. I need to start pushing back here. He is at a plus one, but I feel like I have a little bit of time. Yeah, those chasseurs need to go. Don't get too close, Commander Marines can hurt. Pretty badly as well. Let's get three of these and one of those. Fire support from the helo. This should be able to go through these guys very quickly. Go. Fall back. Oh, Commander Marines out in the open. Go, 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 go. Get him. Get him. Because this is something I want to eliminate early. Well done. Stunned. Need to do a bit of counter-attacking here. There could be a bombing run coming in. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to stop that push cold. Oh! <laughs> Ow. That was pretty brutal. Alright, the inf has arrived. That means I can slowly start pushing my way back here. And I want to bring in a command infantry to ensure I get some form of counter cap here. There we go. That's where the commander marines are at. He's probably going to pull those back. There they are. And there's the second group. Please tell me you dropped. Yeah, you dropped. Well done. Missile, missile, missile. French missile. Not terribly quick. Still deadly. The KTs have arrived with the Panzer Jäckeri and so have the Spado. I'm not quite ready to give up control of this sector yet. But, considering what he has over here, or at least what I think he has over here, a bit of reconnaissance over here is highly required. As I am pretty blind. Unload. Anything interesting happening over here? Not much. Not much. BTR has been destroyed. That's actually good. Start tanking 80 gems, will you? These are visible. Where 
push your reconnaissance there. Missile, missile, missile. Good. That absorbed another missile. H um, not HGM. Command in for ready. Drop off, fly back. Get those commander marines out of here. Your MI-17 should be able to assist with that. Tornado bombing... Two Wilks. Alright. Hello. Get out of my building. I feel like I, from this position, have a fairly decent amount of control over the area. Especially this tree line here is going to help. I might take some missile over here. So be it. No, I'm pushing blind. This is stupid. Give me another T-55. There are still quite a few commandos left. We need to, these guys to take out the vehicles. Because their fire support needs to go. XA is ready. Actually, no, you need to be going over here. Wilkes, kill that. Command infantry into position, please. MS 17 to there. Hello, Yikari. Got a business for you. Peace, Ryan. He just sniped both tanks. Fine. Uh, at this range, I suppose anything can kill, even charioteers. Especially against what I'm trying to kill. Now, unfortunately, because of this, this little mishap, he has been able to eliminate my fire support. So pushing over here into the building in Fedor is going to be difficult at best. And potentially slightly impossible. So that means that I might have to delay my action at least a little bit. And make sure that I get a bit more fire support before I try to push onto Fedor. Because once I can get this, I can start taking points again. I'm going to see if the Eriks can spot something. The KTs should be able to kill most things. As long as it's not a tank. That's a Roland. I also really want that Mankati dead. This is going to cost me... Oh, we can kill him. And there's a tank. That's something that the Panzer Jäger might be able to handle. T-55 coming in. I want more KTs. That's, uh, in this deck, usually the answer. Bring more KTs. Yeah, I can see your Roland. Interestingly, the Roland has not yet opened up on the MI-17. Hello, Shasur. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Another MI-17 over here. I also want a meme make on patrol, because I'm kind of concerned about another tornado IDS strike. Something interesting happening here? Mortars. He's gonna try and mortar my infantry. Move. I thought he was trying to spot, or to smoke, but he's not. At least, not that I know of. No, nope, he's trying to directly mortar fire. Okay, Yekiri, move up. I have my charioteers. I have my meme make on patrol. He's reinforcing that side instead. There's an Amex 10. I still need to find out where that tank went. There's a Milan. Kill that quickly. But I'm very happy about the charioteers taking the damage. Contact there, ERC 90 fall back. I want this one over here, and I want another uh, T 55P on over there. Got more KTs coming in. I do need more reconnaissance though. This is probably going to come at the expense of the charioteers, but then again, that's what they're here for. Also, there is something out there. 
that tank, but I don't know what it is. Come on, focus on something else. Go. Double or nothing. Give me a second, me MIG. I want to make sure that there are no bombing runs in this offensive. Drop off. Reverse the inf uh, reverse the fire support. Get the Panzer forward. Charioteers are still taking the hits. Very good. 185 is dealing with Commander Marines. Throw down a bombing run there and there. There's your Roland. Keep going. There's your tank. Leopard 2. Potentially A4. Kill. Yekity forward. Tank rolling back. 2A4. Damage not dead. Panzer, get in the building. Hold. Crap, that's going to be a friendly bombing. Shit. Now I lost a lot of forces. That is where I made a big mistake. There's your Roland. And your 2A4. 2A4 is now getting worried. 2A4, come on. Eliminate. Kill. 2A4 down. Got the re resupply. I cannot take the building. Not with the forces that I have. These guys are out of ammo. How many fucking troops do you have? All of them. I have all the best troops. Am I 17? Keep pushing. They're rolling still out there. Come on. Not this nonsense again. Missile, missile, missile. There's the Rafal. Get out. Let the Ito handle it. Come on. Stun it before it lays eggs. Oh, you took down my Alouette. How rude. Auto cannon fire from there. Take it out. This one's almost ready. Keep hammering the Chasseur. I should have deployed my arty. The Rock 91. Silly me. Spados are getting hit by the ERC over there. T-55, that's your department. Okay, T to forward. Oh, we got something happening over here. Wipe out those Panzergrands, will ya? Here come the tornadoes, wiping out a T-55 stealth tank. Crap, there's a Leclerc? The battle just got interesting. Let's see, is that Roland still active? Because I really do not need my unit to get killed. My Seria. Unfortunately, I have no infantry to push on this sector, but I'm still holding my own. Mostly. Take it out. I really seriously hope... No, that's really not a good plan. Kill it! Got it. Unit eliminated. The Roland's still active. <laughs> Gets killed off by the MI-17. You legendary helicopter. Um, now, I did say I have all the infantry, but at this point, it's not really true anymore. So I'm starting to run fairly low. He's also pushing there with the ERCs. I think he's just testing. Hoping that I'm weak. He's not wrong. Well done. Something was properly dissuaded. What you got there? Resupply. His command infantry or command unit has to be somewhere here. What are you gonna bomb? Oh. Oh no. Let's let's not, shall we? Let's not. Shit. Hold on, he got it. But He's moving. Mutual? Not mutual. Well, something exploded. Nope. He got it again. Assuming his anti-air is dead, can I push? I wonder. Can I push? Let's get a KT in here. Situation here? Nothing stellar. He is, however, taking a point. 
which is something I do not like. Get the Shasuras out of the way. These KTs are also ready. We need to find that command unit. There it is. Eliminate. Even if it's going to cost me a bomber, I don't mind. Spot are getting stunned. Come on. I know exactly where it is. Just need the hawk to get there and kill it. Go. Now I got it. And my 17 immediately made elite. Well done, sir. This is my panic button. Spot of forward. Forward, forward, forward. Now I need a better tank over here. Something I can start eliminating stuff as it comes in. First, let's bring something forward fast. And my 17s. I got the quad stack of the BTRs coming in. I got the KT here for something that resembles fire support, but I have nothing else. I'm blind. That's bad. I'm going to try and capture this building. Let's see if I can get the KTs to support the T-55s and the Yikiti over there. I want to move my Ito up now. Mortar fire. There. KT. This is your party now. Anything that comes in here, kill it. That ERC-90 is going to be slightly annoying. <laughs> Commando para. Mais non. Not on my zone. Give me another. What? You didn't. Ugh. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Are you getting so unimaginative that you're pushing with a few helos around? KT says no. <laughs> oh, there's a tiger there. Kill it. Go. Go, 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 go. Now he's back at a plus one. Damn it. Ah, the Eric's got eliminated. Shit. Alright, fine. Two can play at this game. Unfortunately, that tiger, I think, is faster than I am. So it's going to be very difficult for me to catch it. What? Oh. Tornado IDS is going for the other CV? What? Excuse me, I'm not there yet. Patience, patience. Okay, so you did your job. Get back here. MS-17 is loaded and ready to bear. Quarter of battle time remaining. Got 240 points in my entire Air Force. He's now back online. Alright. Time to get another CV in, ideally fast. Because at this rate, I'm not going to get to his level of points. At least I'm denying him Fedor. I wonder what his plan is going to be. All these Yekiri here, by the way, are a bit wasted in their current position. Let's see if I can move up a little. Because I think I might be able to grab a bit more terrain around here. To ensure that I get a bit more control over the surrounding area. So that if he does make a push here, which I'm not sure he will, I'll get a little bit more warning. Also, um... Potentially a ROM just towards the middle, so that if he does something silly with aircraft again, I'll know about it. And I could just go fishing with a few hawks. CV on load when ready. I have been reading the comments, by the way. I know that I should be using more hotkeys. Um, it's something that I have to train myself in. Let's guesstimate the positions. Let's see if the Rafal comes out to play as a response, because he should see the Hawks right about now. Beep. 
What? Okay. Plus one, plus two. I don't think I killed it, though. I believe it would be too easy if that actually worked. But I'm at a plus two. For now. Let's pull the birds out. Alright, stealth. Think. If you can test Anna by getting into this position, you might be able to, at least temporarily, go with a plus three. I'm going to have to strike pretty much directly at the heart. Which is going to cost potentially quite a lot of resources. But if I can get a CV in there, even for a while, that would help a lot. I got absolutely nothing defending this flank, though. I'm so weak there. How far can I get? How much does he have? Because if I'm misreading the situation and he does not have a lot of units over there, or over here to the side of Anna, it might get progressively worse for him. What the hell? For fuck's sake, now what? He's just <laughs> he was just guessing. But he guessed correctly. Oh, that's annoying. Fortunately, I had a CV go in there. But, damn. Oh, hello. Is that the, the crippled leopard? Please kill it. No. Now the Yekiri are going to have a bit of a rough time here. I do want that leopard out of the way. Just to ensure that my units can get a bit of an easier time pushing there. Oh, the tornado's here. Kill that. The Rafale too, the Jaguars. It's going to be busy. Good lord. Ow. He invested potentially a lot in aircraft. Like a lot. So maybe he doesn't have that much on the ground. But it's going to require some uh, potentially decisive action over here. So I want fire support. I got the KT. Not enough for you to win. No. He's guesstimating. This position is so weak. So, so very fragile. No, I, hold on. I was trying to flank, but it's not going to work because he has too much ice. Too much aircraft that he can just suddenly deploy. T-55, kill that. He's guessing again. The hell? Here come the birds again. Yep, those birds. Onto my undefended flank. Three tigers, no less. Looks like we're going to have to expedite this attack somewhat. Whatever happened to my mortars? Shit. I need to look at that post-replay. Or post-gameplay to see whatever happened to those things. Because this is... Pretty bad. Hello, Panzergrenadier. Because I was hoping to move in here under the cover of smoke. But at this rate, that is not going to work. And now I have a uh, whole flight of helos operating damn close to my position. Yeah, fine, you can have that. I mean, ideally you don't, but... Go, 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 go. Forward. Panzergrenadiers are not dead yet. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Go! Here comes the Air Force again, and I have no counter. 
I also have no more Ito 90s. I need this Ito to relocate urgent. There's the Ranger. Uh, Jesus. That took absolutely no time at all. The Hilo thing is a bit cheesy, but it's a good lesson. I need to defend my cap better. Because it's just way too easy for him to walk in here twice with helos. Defend the cap better. Also, the big weakness of this deck is that it has no units, such as cheap spogs, that can do something for me here. Go! Get in the building. I don't care how you do it. Get in there. I want you guys in this zone, now. At least I'm going to force him to draw. This thing is taking a bunch of fuck fire. Now this whole offensive is done. Not a draw. Ah, oh, those fucking helos. Fucking helos. Those are the ones that killed me in Elena twice. And then a bombing run. A bombing run there. The helos then came over this way. The Ito is out of missiles, so they probably got killed. But the fact that I didn't even fucking see that is fucking terrifying. I should be zooming out way more and getting more overview of the situation. Yeah, just go ahead and kill it already. Weak as fuck? The tigers. Are we talking about the same tigers? I really shot his infantry down. You don't have much. Really? And there's the last command. At least the one in Boris. Erex, get some vengeance. Because these things have caused me a lot of grief. Oh, damn, I'm salty about that. Jesus fucking Christ. This is pointless. Well played to him. Oh, not good play to me. Jesus Christ. What killed my mortars? Charioteers. Tilox. Tornadoes. Yeah. I didn't move them after I was firing. Shh. Hmm. He said, I was winning against the CB. He heli broke me, though. I did like I did, but 1,000 times harder. What? Lessons for us both then, mate. Alright, um, let's have a look at the replay. Speed this thing up. Ten times. What do we have? What's his opener? Where's he going? ERC 90, Martyr, 10p. That's it? Oh. So the thing that killed me was the tiger. This. This little mishap here. I should have put the Ito over there. And then I would have outranged the tiger. But I was too eager to get this thing killed before it started lobbing hot two missiles into my vehicles. That I rushed the Ito off here where it couldn't get line of sight. And then when it did, the tiger had range on it. So it killed the Ito. Or something did. And then the bombing run. 
that that too. The the Crotal. No, sorry, not the Crotal. The Tornado IDS is the thing that killed me there. Because I had the position. I even have the Eric's up here. I have the Ekri, I have the HGMs, and then he pushes back with a little bit of Panzergrenz. My KTs are in a terrible position because they can't fire. My KRKK is similar. One tank would have made all the difference. Just one little bit of armor. Because then I could have tanked the ERC-90 and killed off the fire support and then broke his HGMs and vehicles. Done. AMX-10 piece, ERC, Crotal. <laughs> he was equally light over here. Right. So the MX-10Ps open up, the KTs return fire and kill them. He had almost nothing here. Same old, same old. I should have pushed up more. Now he senses weakness, so he moves his, his vehicles into positions without infantry. And the infantry is either deployed or dead. <laughs> this was such a weird standoff. He's at a plus two early because I do not capture Delta. I pull back a little. There's almost nothing left in Bravo. Or Boris, as it was uh, formerly known. Oh no. And I thought that he still had units over here. He didn't because I killed them all there and he deployed them here. I should have just moved the Yekiri over to there to stop the flow of resources, but I was not aggressive enough. Because I thought I simply wouldn't make it there. And this way I'm controlling at least this road with the KT. Which works. Because the Amex 10Ps get greeted by quite a bit of fire from the KT. And it kills both. And the VAB. I run the KT over there. Trying to find the Crotal. I should have just... Yeah. I didn't notice enough that I was breaking through here. I should have just deployed infantry over here. Uh, potentially some units over there to stem the flow from this side. And then I would have had Boris, like, firmly under control. Instead, I chose that I really wanted Foxtrot. Whereas this was not my strong side. This was my strong side. So, the side that initially was the weakest for me, and the strongest over there. The weakest for me is the one that I actually could have pushed through. Stupid. Lessons learned. Now the Commander Marines push up. That's not something the Yekadi can hopefully stop. I cap it. Plus one for me. Minkati comes in, Leopard 1A4. He's also reinforcing the buildings here. I just I did absolutely nothing to try and contest Alpha. The reason for that is that I find it very difficult to hide a command vehicle in here. And they have the whole of the town as backup. I would have the firing line from the tree, which is fairly limited. So it's the reason why I elected not to go to Alpha. Could have been a mistake. And now he's reinforced the sector. The Chasseurs die. He reinforces. There's a CV coming in, the VLRA. VLRA drops off. Neutral. There. No? No. And he barges all the way into here. At this point, I'm still of a mindset to push into Foxtrot. So I keep devoting resources this way, even though I should have very easily been able to push here. I would have been mostly able to bypass this position, because it's just Panzer Grenadiers and Para, oh, Commando Para. There's not even an HGM to be found. Well, yeah, the one on the Martyr, but come on. It's so Milan 1A2. Its accuracy leaves quite a lot to be desired, and the firing vehicle is pretty easy to kill. But instead of maneuvering here with all the infantry that I... Well, I did maneuver here, but I was so headstrong into going there, which was stupid. That cost me the game right there. And sure enough, by pouring a ton of resources into this, I do eventually get it back. But the price... Man, the price. He has one anti-air, one Roland. Now he's just reinforcing with Milan so that my fire support dies. Yeah. There. I just sacrificed four KTs for absolutely nothing. That was stupid. I should not have done that.
And these guys were just holding position. I should have fired and maneuvered, which is something I normally do, but I just forgot about it today. I feel like my brain is a bit foggy today. I'm not sure why. I did get a decent night's sleep, although I had some sort of weird hangover, though I barely drank last night. Um, but I was just... That was ridiculously retarded. I was just not very clear. I noticed that in ranked games that I was doing earlier today as well. I'm just not very clear. Like, my brain is foggy. And, and you notice it here too. Like, I could have pushed into Bravo. I could have had the entire zone. And he just... He was pretty strong in Fox and I pushed everything out. Much at the expense of everything in Bravo. And here comes the helicopter cheese, the hat and the tiger. Well, it's, it's cheesy to some extent. I mean, it's a valid offensive. It works. Is it great sportsmanship? I'll leave that to you guys in the comments. ZSUs are maneuvering. Sorry, not maneuvering. They're trying to acquire, but they don't get a shot. So that ZSU should have been over there. Not over there. But I was more concerned about stuff coming through the woods. Not over the woods. And I lose the command unit. This means that effectively he has full air dominance. Because the only interior unit I have is one Ito 90 and the other side is relying on Eric's. There comes the bombing run. I don't get hit and I move in. He didn't even know about that. He just estimated that my CV should be coming back from Fox. Misestimated, but it was a valiant effort. Yeah, and here are the mortars. Or, well, rather, were the mortars. They died. There's the offensive with the 2A4. This side was also somewhat weak. Look at how far he pulled back. Vab, your C, Krotal. He doesn't even have reconnaissance. Neither do I. But it would have been pretty easy to just move in here with a bunch of tanks and clean up the whole side. I was expecting ATGMs. I wouldn't be able to find any. So many mistakes. And here comes my half-assed offensive, my last-ditch measure. And of course, that's when the Tigers neutralize my base. So I'm unable to call in my aircraft to provide cover for these guys. Meaning that their aircraft have free game. There's a 2A4 Leclerc and another 2A4 providing fire support. I do take the building, but beyond that, it is done. <sighs> Lessons learned, lessons learned. Anyway, as I said at the start of the video, you're going to fail your way up. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, despite my being salty towards the end. Um, I just need to keep failing. It is that simple. It's not fun, but it is something I need to keep doing. It's the, the, the entry to ranked, if you will. Anyway, um, if I can do this poorly at ranked, then you can do too. So even if you've never played ranked, uh, just give it a shot. The only way is up. All you can do is learn. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, despite my saltiness, and I'll see you guys soon for another one.